Hi everyone! So today I dyed my hair. What do you think? This is a darker color than what I have before. Um, it's a rich chocolatey brown. And the dye that I'm using is this L'Oreal Excellence Cream in 515 Ash Mahogany Light Brown. Um, I don't hate this color, I don't hate the result, but it's not what I have in mind. They have swatches from the dye and I like one color which is this one. From the swatches, I can tell that it is a cool ashy greenish brown which is what I want right but when I get the box dye and I see this is not ashy at all I don't understand you so mahogany is like warmer reddish brown but ash is cool greenish bluish zone of, of brown so I don't get it what they mean by ash and mahogany wish that this is ashy like they show in the swatches right because that's what I want the result is very similar to what the box says so lesson learned do not trust the swatches that they the have only uh, thing that I didn't like from this box dye is the smell the smell is very very strong it's super annoying I almost cannot take it because I dye my hair in my room inside but i kept my window open other uh, hair dye that i use never smelled that strong it even hurts my eye and you will see in this video i making i kept making super ugly face because i can't take it but so first i'm going to start by sectioning my hair i'm separating my hair horizontally and making two little bands in each side of my head after i read the instructions i realized that i should put the protective pre-color serum before I put the color because it will protect your hair so I'm putting it on right now you may also want to protect your skin from the hair dye so the hair dye won't stain your skin so I'm putting this Vaseline petroleum jelly around my hairline on my neck and also on my ear Okay, now this is the cream developer. It is contained on a bottle and you have to mix it with the color and this is the color, the cream color. I'm just going to put the cream color onto the bottle and I'm going to shake the bottle very well to mix the two. Don't forget to wear gloves that they provided for you. After I mix the two, I realized that the color is a little bit too yellow for me. So I mix the blue um, foot dye to make it a little bit more green because green will make your brown hair more ashy and I don't want to be too warm. I don't want my hair to be too warm so I'm mixing the blue to make it a little bit cooler and a little bit ashier. So this is the color that I mixed. For the application, I'm going to change the cap of the bottle into kind of like a comb tip so it will help uh, for the application. Actually, the instructions tell you to start at the roots but I'm starting at my ends because I know that my roots develop faster than the rest of my hair so I leave it for the last. You can tell by my expression that I'm really annoyed by the smell. The smell is super strong. I have never used any hair dye that has this strong smell. It's very strong. My my eyes hurts. I don't know. Have you ever smelled something really chemically that your eyes cannot take it? It's that strong. So it's terrifying at first, but 
I'm already doing it, so I'm just going to continue with it. I only buy one box of hair dye and since I got quite a bit of hair, I might need two but since I only have one, I'm going to just uh, make sure to cover all of my front and outside hair that shown more and I'm not going to put a lot in the inside of my hair because that part is not really shown. And after I have covered all of the outside and the front hair, and if I have leftover, I will work my way inside. That way, if I don't have enough, it won't be really shown that I I didn't cover all of it because the inside is not really shown. After I have covered all of my hair with the dye, I'm going to put it up in a bun and cover all of my hair with the shower cap. And I'm going to wait for 10 to 20 minutes and then after that I'm going to rinse it off I'm not going to put any shampoo I'm just going to use the conditioner that the box prepared for me well it is a little bit darker than the ends because this is my virgin dark brown hair versus this bleached hair it doesn't damage my hair so Maybe it's the protective pre-color serum or maybe it's the conditioner, I don't know, but it must be one of them working. So, so disclaimer, I know that I sh might should have see professional for this and you should have too if you're not very confident to do this by yourself. As for me, as long as you only did one hair color like this no highlights no ombre no nothing i think it's pretty safe to do it by yourself um just make sure to reach every itty bitty parts of your hair so it will be one color so i hope you guys find this video helpful if you are willing to dye your hair by yourself you if you wanna uh, save some money but yeah, as I said, if you don't feel confident, then don't do it, then uh, see professional. So yeah, mm, that's all I've got to say. Bye bye. Uh, so, so, but it's not lot. But but it's not lot. Uh, yeah. So I think that. Yeah.